People driving up and down the Kirkley have no idea that from that house started one of the largest internet databases in the world. Hey there, everyone. Dave Barlow here with the gang from Sell for 1% Realtors. And we are getting ready to do our house of the week. Week? Week? And Jamie... You have a uh, a property that you would like to feature this week on our House of the Week, if you'll take her away. This week's House of the Week comes to you from Upper Arlington, Ohio, 43221 zip code off Kirkley Road. Um, this one sold in May of 2023 for $519,000 with a Zillow's estimate of 466600 So, um, in the great... What's three, so special about this house? Um, it is a three-bedroom ranch home built over six decades ago, uh, and it's about to earn a nomination for the prestigious National Register of Historic Places. Um, okay. And, Really, at first glance, it looks like any other kind of ranch house, the quintessential example of a one-story home that swept across America in the 1950s. Uh, often, these homes were built to uh, home returning World War II veterans and symbolized the desire for a larger, more comfortable living space in the suburbs. Um, what sets this humble abode apart is its former resident Fred, Frederick G. Kilgore. If any of you heard of Frederick G. Kilgore? Old Freddie Kilgore. Yep. Old Fredster. Yeah. Yep. I have to say I've not. So, Well, he was a man of many talents and achievements. Mr. Kilgore was an educator, librarian, historian, and entrepreneur who founded the Online Computer Library Center, or OCLC for short. That's cool. Dad, you've had to heard of the Online Computer Library Center, right? No, the OCLC used to be located over there on, uh, you could see it from 270 in Dublin. Huge building. And so, yeah. Well, the, yeah, one of the, the precursor to Wikipedia. Uh, they're we're still around. They just don't occupy. <laughs> okay. So what? what is it? What do they do? Um, I mean, basically, every book in the world is online through OCLC. That's cool. I like J Store. I was like J Store. I need to go download these books. Is what I'm hearing. So the Mr. whole world goes online. online. Mr. Mr. Kilgore was educated at Harvard and Yale, uh, and bought his ex or, um, brought his expertise to Columbus in 1967. Uh, attracted by its proximity to Ohio State University where he worked. Uh, his wife, Eleanor, and him called the, their house, called this their house until they re, uh, relocated to North Carolina in 1990. Um, hmm. The journey to nominate this property for the National Register of Historic Places began over a decade ago. The Ohio Historic Site Preservation Board initially considered the nomination in 2010, but delayed their decision to explore the links between the property and OCLC-related sites. So to qualify for the National Register, a property must be linked to events that have significantly shaped our, his, our nation's history and or be associated with individuals who played a pivotal role in our past. Um, this nomination doesn't impose any obligations on the current owners to restore or renovate the property in any specific way, and also doesn't restrict their abilities to remodel or alter the home to suit their needs. However, there is an added incentive. Owners of such historic properties can qualify for 20% federal income tax credit for approved repair, preservation work, and ensuring the property's legacy that it lives on for generations to come. So, in that, a little information for you guys in case you uh, are in a historic district. But in the end, this house represents more than just bricks and mortar. Uh, it's a symbol of American aspirations and the achievements of a remarkable man. It's a journey to the National Register of Historic Places that serves as a testament to the enduring importance of our nation's history and people 
who helped shape it. So, Mr. Cohort, we salute you. That's real Very men of genius. That's, a, that's a great information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, well, they put out a big bronze, um, you know, plaque out in front of I the will house. require a plaque or at least pay for it with uh, the tax breaks that I get. Yeah. Yeah, it's a historical landmark, so um, I, I don't know why it would take 13 years to figure out that Mr. Kilgore lived in the house, who also started OCLC. Yep. But, yep, get a freeway exit sign, Fredster Way, <laughs> next left. Yeah. You could be out there on uh, 315, you know, exit to Ohio Stadium, and Fred Kilgore's home. Kilgore That's wedding. pretty cool. Yeah. So are the books are the books free? Do you, do you, can you buy them? Or are they not available to the public? You know, I, mean, I, would, I would imagine it's going to be a subscription based thing or some sort of some way to access it. I won't imagine that they're free online, but who knows? They might have some samples. It's a well, it's a database resource, uh, kind of like uh, CompuServe. And then both were a big database um, points that both started here in Columbus. And OCLC uh, obviously is still around, and uh, they, they just serve up a tremendous amount of information. Basically, you can research anything and everything uh, through OCLC. Last I checked, it was a subscription-based uh, product. Um, and I don't know. Basically an, an internet library. And yeah, you, their library card, and I'm sure you pay a, a subscription for that access. Yeah. So, but it's a um, cool information. That's cool. It's, it's used, I think it's Nexus Lexus is mm -hmm. their big database. And um, it, I, I don't know if they evolved Nexus Lexus or if they purchased Nexus Lexus to go along with what they were doing. Uh, one of the houses I sold there uh, in our old neighborhood on Nan, retired from OCLC. And, uh, uh, and now this is, you know, 15, 18 years ago. Um, but she had a whole basement full of books and her interest in books was because she worked at OCLC. So it was a cool tie in. That's cool. That's very cool. Yeah. All right, Jay Rinsky. Thank you. That's uh that was a fun one. Um, people driving up and down, uh, Kirkley have no idea that from that house, started one of the largest internet databases in the world. Very so, cool. Good stuff. Yep. Yeah.